Sunder and Suture. It was an eventful, or it has been an eventful evening. Um, you managed to fight alongside the citizens of Savaria and Adari and overcame the uh, superior skill and training and armaments of the Legion in the uh, square outside of the city guard barracks. Um, among those uh, slain in battle is a familiar dwarven uh, outlaw mercenary by the name of Gramil, whose brother you slew some weeks ago. Um, uh, after uh, after killing him, or killing him in the retreat of the Legion forces, um, the citizens in the square, the ones that are still alive, um, continue to um, push through the city, um, uh, chasing the legionaries. So you have have gone through while they've kind of rambled off. Um, the four of you have basically went through Grandma's pockets um, <laughs> and uh, and the cleric have and the cleric that you killed <laughs> um, and have uh, have this moment to take take stock of what you're trying to do. Um, Adari is not too far away. She's looks like she's trying to attend to um, some of the wounded um, and seems to be trying to organize people to to uh, care for those wounded and and try to essentially keep keep some discipline and and not have it just turn into uh, an angry rioting mob as much as possible so the four of you are on the blood soaked street of Savaria we quickly grab, uh, at least I grab, potion of heroism, potion of bark skin, oil of greater magic weapon, and fish and quiver. Okay. I'm taking his belt off, so I'm going to be here a while. <laughs> I'm just grabbing that potion of cure wounds. Okay. And then I'll be taking Ella's one's belt. Um, oh, I need to hop in the roll 20. Also, quick favor Jack. could you let me know what my hit points are because they're not on this page oh yeah 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 um are you taking that right I'll... now no i just need to know what my hit points are oh because i don't i don't know what they are i'll take my stuff when we um get back to a safer location because janus is not 44. going to anything right now 44 correct we might not have a safer location. <laughs> 44? Take what you need. Uh -oh. Sorry. I rolled four ones. All right, then yeah, I'll take the stuff now. Uh, did Ox, like, put out a burst of healing to, like, heal people? At the end of last session, I did. How much was that? Because that would have been an hour. Would have been uh, up 19. in the chat. Zach, I was at 44, right? Uh, you are also at 44. Mm -hmm. Wow. Health buddies. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit myself with some cure light wounds. Is that 44 before or after the healing? That's my after. after. That's after yeah. my healing. I, I did it immediately, so I don't know. Yeah. If Noah remember remembered to or not, but I just never heard it yesterday. So, or not yesterday, last week. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, everyone gather around. Anybody who wants this can add yeah, this. Yeah, I just never heard the actual total. Ah. Been there before. Mm -hmm. Many, many times. Ooh. Plus six. Uh, 
Another one. Oh my gosh, no. Come on. Oh, there's a seven. That's better. Right, well, that could have been worse. That could have been better. The things considered, I think we did look quite well. Mm hmm. I think we need to. I think it might be best to. Try to bring peace rather than escalate this at the moment. Um, we're all pretty hurt right now, and um, this could get a lot worse if we just go charging ahead, or allow the citizens to just go charging ahead in the momentum. Um, Can you give me a perception check? Uh, collectively, all of you, if you want. All right. Um, you get a plus five for this, don't you, Jake? Nineteen. Yep. Twenty-five. Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-two. Right, well, wow, everyone rolled pretty well. Okay. Um, as you guys have been kind of standing there, it hasn't been uh, terribly long. Um, as it is dark in this part, well, not just this part, but most of Savaria is actually not very well lit or hasn't been very well lit lately. Um, you can hear and see um, this commotion is spreading through the city. Um, there are lights, uh, by how they look, um, it looks like large amounts of torches, or at least several torches. Um, you can hear, um, indistinct, like, shouts and just general chaos, um, kind of spreading all over. Presumably, um, the uh, citizens of Savaria are gaining numbers. Hmm. Hang on a second. I'm going to make sure that no one else is up in that window, the second window. I'm going to fly up there because I still have fly on, and I'm going to uh, look in, in the building where I think the shot came from, or any open windows for that matter, um, to see if there's anybody lurking up there. Okay. Go ahead and give me another perception check. The third dwarven twin. <laughs> the, <tw> <laughs> the, the third a twin. Triplet. The yeah. third twin. <laughs> um, Why do I feel like that sounds like a compelling module? 20, the third twin. 27. 27. Okay. Yeah. Um, you search through uh, other open windows that are likely um, likely places for the other arrow to have come from and you don't see anybody do I find anywhere that it's like obvious that there was someone there you know like <laughs> quiver nope. left behind or anything like that or... nope okay. I'll fly back to the group I think the Second assassin's gone. Um, who who was searching Grandma? Elswin, you were. Sh you said there was something that you found in his pocket. Uh, here, but there's a lot of things <laughs> in his pocket. Uh, anything in particular? I think there was a paper, right? Zach said at the end of session there was something in his. There was like a paper, mm -hmm. piece of paper oh. crumpled in his pockets. I suppose you mean this, and I'll just kind of hold it out. Yeah, what's it say? Maybe don't, uh, maybe don't open it with your hands in case it explodes. 
Okay. Good idea. I'll, I'll cast Mage Hand. Nice. I'll kind of carry it away <laughs> and open it up. I know. So, can I roll a, an Arcana check real quick? Sure. Uh, what are you trying to determine? Uh, how the spell explosive runes works. Okay. Because I think I know, but I don't know if that was one. Oh, yeah, she probably does. Okay, the best way to avoid what's already happened to us twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, our knowledge arcana is. Oh my gosh. Uh, 32. <laughs> I was about to say, I hope that's a good oh my gosh. I, I forgot how high my. <laughs> you f- forget how smart you are? Just in one specific area. If you ask me about engineering, you're going to get a very dumb answer response. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Elizwin. Probing the depths of your magical knowledge, um, you would understand that ex- the trigger for explosive runes is not opening, it's reading. Specifically reading whatever has been enchanted. Yeah. So there is some risk in reading this, but I think it's probably... Well, does anybody have... Can anybody detect magic? If we're using an abundance of caution. I can do that. And I'll go over and detect magic. It appears to be an ordinary piece of paper. Phew! <laughs> unless, it's, unless it's poisoned again, it should be safe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, Speaking we'll... of, could you make a fortitude? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will never out. open a letter ever again. No. <laughs> no. No. Our worst fear. Letters. <laughs> you already won't look at a painting ever again. <laughs> you get so you know the you know like the jokes of like parties that won't touch like open chests or anything for fear mm-hmm. of them being mimics and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. You guys are like a party of people, like a messenger comes up, tries to hand you a piece of paper, and all four of you are like, I don't like being handed Stab things. Damn it. <laughs> I'm not signing Read it. that. Read it I'm to me. Yeah. You, you yeah. opened it. What it says. <laughs> no, no, no gloves on. We just <laughs> kill hands. every single messenger that ever comes. <laughs> uh, oh, I saw something the other day, which is like one of the, it was advertised as like evil piece of, of GM advice. At the beginning of a campaign, inform your players that there is exactly one mimic somewhere in the campaign. Oh my god! You aren't going to tell them where it is. I love it. <laughs> the one thing I don't like about that is after they find the mimic, they're going to not be scared of anything. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I, I think is better to say. Same. I'm going to roll some amount of dice, oh, yeah, and that's yeah. how many mimics there are. There so they don't oh, know where they are, and they don't even know how many there are. Yeah. Like, by the way, there are the 1v4 mimic... mimics in this campaign. Good yeah, luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, the best mimic is the bet at the end. But... <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, anyway. Or no, I... if you have multiple, make it like the very first one is a mimic. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Get a hand to the tankard and tries to bite your arm off. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, here. I, I think it's safe to read. And I'll take a look at it. Okay. Huh. In very neat handwriting, it says, it says, uh, G, comma, remember, once the targets are dealt with, we'll meet at our regular spot. From there, we'll go see her together. Dash S. I think we're going to need to find out who this S is. Any guesses? S. I have no idea who that is. Let me look at all of the NPCs I've ever written down, ever. It could... Oh. It could be the skink. Why in the, the big world bad of this campaign is not going to be the skink. It doesn't necessarily need to be the skink, but this is like... This could be a co-assassin. We have already established there were two shooters. On... The bottom of the page, there's a little doodle. It appears to be a. Uh... Oh, here, I'll just I'll just doodle it on the map. It could be this game. That'd be crazy. It's a fish. It's a dead fish. Dead fish. Uh oh. Um, it's Samson. <laughs> huh. 
Samwell. It's Samwell. It's Sam, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's back he to kill me. He came baby. back. <laughs> he's a, an electrified zombie. What if it's the Sammy? What if it's the bubble? The the arcane bubble. electrical energy that killed him also brought him back brought to life. Back. It restarted his heart. Yep. Kickstarted his heart, if you, you might say. <laughs> uh oh. He's. Now he's in a hair metal band. I guess you could say he's running with a fairly motley crew. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. <laughs> Guitar riffs intensify. Oh my gosh. What if it's what if it's Senia? Which was a grandma that was a that was kidnapped at the beginning of this. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the person that none of you have ever met because no one exists? That's the, true. No one's in the party from the original mm -hmm. group. Yeah. Malik knew. Valen Gr knew. Well, Grot is the only person who was in those sewers who is still alive. What if oh. it's What if it's Canis <laughs> Sylvia? Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. I guess technically, little... Peg's fate is unknown. But as far as everyone we know of, Rod is the only person who was in that sewer who is still living. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, besides the hostages, yeah. 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 Quick reminder that the skink's name is Scorvo. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, oh, that's, that's, that's a much cooler name there. than the skink. To anyone? Yeah, so I'm a... You know, like, I'm not necessarily like. Oh, a Samson and the bad, Duck! So. That's what you Samson meant. The Duck! The duck. Yes! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, I'd Bronson and Duck Samson. Samson the Duck. <laughs> Can you I just imagine? <gasps> I'm just His... imagining, like, Grandma and him are, like, across <laughs> these aisles, and, you, like, you just. We cut into Grandma, and he's, like, lining up the shot, and he's like, All right, I think I've got the target. What about you? <laughs> right, <laughs> they're they're duck, that duck, exactly. Just crossbow just propped up on the windowsill, and the ducks just there, just standing next to it. Uh -huh. Their yeah, boat yeah. is called the Flying Fish, which that's a fish, guys. And he was a dwarf. He could totally be the truth. He was a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> and all dwarves know each other. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> we cracked the code, guys. Good job. Regardless of what you had planned, Zach, I hope you know this. Use the BBG. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like uh, all of you have, like, Sherlock Holmes caps on and, like, pipes that blow bubbles, and you're like, we've solved it. <laughs> <laughs> you can plot it's twist important. us. It's you awesome. just, like, just start saying, elementary, my dear Watson, I'll just say all of it to each other. Just or, or, I found a note. Grotz Rock's name is Stuart. <laughs> it could be Grotz Rock. <laughs> I forgot I made a rock. Shoot, you cracked my code. <laughs> it wasn't a duck, rock. it was a rock. <laughs> um, so, the only good... Well, okay, here, here. I run with a dangerous crowd on occasion. I've been going to dabble in debris once. Once? <laughs> you weren't there for that, don't worry. <laughs> um, do I recognize that symbol? Samuel. Um, yeah, do any of us? Choose a knowledge check that you're wanting to Local. use. Yeah, I think local is probably the local. only other S name that I have for this, which doesn't really make sense, is uh, Sextus Elvarus. I got a ten. Oof. Oh, that was a bad. Elvarus, who is that guy? Elvarix, sorry. Oh. He's, he is the uh, oh. yeah the minister of defense. Oh, it would be a real bad deal if that was him. Um. Mm -hmm. Also, I got a fifteen. <laughs> There's no. A... Th I'm not even gonna roll. There's no reason Katarina would know this. Uh, I wouldn't say 28. no reason. <laughs> Got a twenty-eight <laughs> crit. Yep. Jane is just knows things. <laughs> um. Good lord. I'm gonna roll knowledge nobility. Wait. There you go. Which knowledge were we testing again? I want to make sure I got the wrong one. 
or right 22. one? 22. It's whatever one you chose. Ah. What did you yeah. choose? What did you choose? choose? Curiosity. Uh, I was going with not. I was gonna go with knowledge local, but that's only a plus four, so nineteen. Nineteen with knowledge local. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, um, the symbol does not look familiar. Um, Katarina would suppose that you've. I mean, there's house crests that have uh, fish on it. There's actually several dwarven, or not dwarven, uh, gnomish clans that have fish, <laughs> but nothing that looks like this. Mm -hmm. I suppose we could take this. Does anybody have any connections to the <clears throat> world of the city? Fox, oh. you've lived here longest. I, not that I'm saying you're involved in anything nefarious. I mean, we could just ask people, have you seen this? Have you seen this man? Have you seen this symbol? <laughs> have, you have you seen, seen this seen man? Fish? <laughs> have you seen this fish? <laughs> Holds up picture of a dead fish. No, have you, drawn dead have fish. you seen any of these suspects? There's a duck, a rock, <laughs> <laughs> and, a and, a, and a fish, and a senator. <laughs> oh my gosh. Literally anybody. Who pulled the trigger? I love it. Oh a duck now, and a now rock. I'm imagining we're just like somebody's in a room. And they're like, I know you did it. Damn it, tell me what I want to know. And then he just like, camera turns around. <laughs> and then, and then like, uh, oh, shoot. No, see, no one who knows Samson or, or uh, no, yeah, Bronson is here either. Yep. For some reason, Grot walks in and he's like, that's not even the right duck. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not Samson. Hmm. Um All right. Well, while all of you guys are standing around um thinking really really hard, mm -hmm. uh Adari is going to come up. Um you can see uh she's got some some blood on her hands. Seems like she's trying to uh help as well as she could, um, some of the injured. And looking behind her, you can see um, people starting to starting to like move the injured off, um, presumably somewhere where they can be cared for um, better than just the um, middle of a street. Um, she still has. She seems to still have her borrowed sword, um, not in a sheath or anything, just kind of like tucked in her belt. Ah, well. I haven't really gotten to see you in a fight before. I'm glad to, I'm glad you were there. Could have been, I gotcha. would have been very different. Thanks Hope for helping and true. organizing. I... <laughs> I do what I can. Um, it's a really, it's a really delicate point right now for the city, um, for the people. If you're feeling up for it, um, the the people need your support still. I know you fought quite a bit, um, but I do. I know it, and and the men and women who are in this square know that they would not have come out as well as they did if it weren't for the four of you. Um, and I think in order for them to keep their momentum, they need they need to see the four of you still in this fight. Give them courage. I'm in. I'm in. Definitely. Yeah. Just think you are. How you would have us help. You're not talking about it. Just to be clear. You don't mean right now. Correct? No, I, I mean now. Very well. The I next... Change my answer. The next couple of hours, the next couple of days are going to be really... 
either this movement falls on its face and a lot of people lose their lives, or perhaps this country can be changed. Not the way I would have preferred, but unfortunately that choice was taken from us. Um, the uh, Most of the legionaries are concentrated by the Dregs Gate and Cloudcrest Gate. If the four of you could go and support. I don't know that you have to do so much fighting. Uh, at this point, people have been running around gathering, gathering friends, family, anyone who will pick up a kitchen knife to fight. Mm-hmm. We have. Um, um, we can also, with the with the fallen uh, soldiers, we can take their their um, armor and their weapons. Um, I mean, I have a few daggers. People are willing or are welcome. To I've have. got, I've got people um, recovering. She kind of says it with a bit of a grimace. Mm-hmm. I mean. You guys are adventurers, so looting the dead is just kind of comes with the territory. For but for most people, stripping valuable items off of dead people is not really, <laughs> not really in good taste. Um, recovering the uh, arms and armor from the fallen legionaries. So, um, and I've got trying to organize folks to get uh, get people back away from the fighting the wounded ones. I'm going to see if I can go to Sylvian Manor. Um, it'll be far from most of the fighting. Quieter part of town. There'll be more access to medical supplies, hopefully. Um, it's a bit of a walk, but... I think that's a good idea. Um, I'm going to try and... I'm going to move with them uh, through the city and see if I can organize as many people as I go. Um, but most of the fighting, I believe, is is the uh, southwest mm-hmm. part of the city. Not- and uh, I'll take Malik and Valens with me. Uh, this might be a bit premature, but... Do you have a plan for what happens next? After tonight? Spread the word. I We have to try to organize. I mean, all of this just comes down to organizing. It. Getting people to know about what's happened here. So we'll, um, and as soon as we can, be dispatching messengers to the other nearby cities um Rodani Romula even um I'm gonna if, whisper in, in Janus's ear hopefully you st- and hand you like a paper and pen mm-hmm. or or nudge you <laughs> now I'll I'll take it. <laughs> Sorry, before you go, we have an idea. Um, no, what's that? Uh, give us a few minutes. Janus, Janus is really good at this stuff. <laughs> um, Janus just starts writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yep. All right, what are you writing? Um, yeah, I'm going to write this while Ox is talking. Where did that... I um, need the edited version that actually has there you grammar. Go. There you go. I think we have an idea, but we wanted to make sure that you're behind it so that we could also get the city behind it. Um, because things are out of control and we're trying to get control and I think, I think that there's... Well, you're very good at being diplomatic, and I think 
if um, if there is any time for diplomacy, now is the moment. Otherwise, it's going to get very out of hand and very... It's, it'll just get worse. It'll just be much worse. Um, but we do want to move forward. And... Are you reading it, Zach? Yep. Oh, all right. Well, there you go, Adari. There you go. <laughs> Never <Sorry>. mind. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Sorry, you can, you can keep talking. I don't no, want to say Jake, it. you can read it. You want to just read it? Um, read it, read it. Now, I think at this point, everybody's read it then. Our audience has. The audience has okay, oh, I will. Oh, I will read it. Yeah. Shout out to Sam are, and Justin. Okay. <laughs> I then yes, I'll read. Okay. okay. There you go. I forgot we were recording this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's been a hell of a week. I your brain is not there. <laughs> <sighs> to soldiers and ranking officers, what transpired this evening is nothing short of a tragedy. It is with a heavy heart that we bury our friends, family, fellow soldiers, and fellow civilians. Most of the city does not want a war. We're tired, scared, and now mourning. This is a time to be with family, to grieve as one. In this spirit, we take no prisoners and return your comrades to you. Both sides had their rights and wrongs this night. Civilians were enraged and impassioned by a man who only ever craved violence. The army shot and killed two people, one of whom was arguing for peace and to stop what Valens had wrought. We lost good and bad people, along with our loudest voice for peace and our loudest voice for bloodshed. The army lost many good comrades, along with the, alongside a faithful man of the gods and a man wanted for murder of innocent people. We've included a wanted poster of this man, created and penned by the governmental leaders of Savaria. Both sides were right and wrong, which is why this must stop. We know peace talks are unlikely to happen for some time, but we ask for time to allow clearer heads to prevail. We offer no violence, will not cause violence of any kind, and will restrain the voices of our community who desire it. We ask that you please do the same. We can't let this tragedy be but a stepping stone to a worse one. We need to end this. The people want peace in both their streets and their minds. Please do not attempt to occupy the city again and allow, and allow diplomacy to lead our path forward. We were thinking of sending the prisoners that we caught back as a sign of good faith with this letter, as well as the body of Gremel, so that they can see for themselves um, the person who shot. Towards Adari. Towards you. Um. Hmm. We're not sure what they're going to react, but we figured that giving them a chance to react with peace is better than just assuming that they wouldn't want peace and attack. I... I agree. We can certainly send this to them. My concern is that they'll answer with the iron fist and not with an open hand. Yeah, we're aware. If I, if I've learned anything about some of the prominent political figures in Savaria over the past several several months and years. Um, it's that what they don't want more than anything else is to show weakness. And however right you might be, if 
they allow this city to go unpunished if they allow insurrection to go go without retribution they would see that as showing I mean, it could be that more noble and fair minded people prevail but those are my fears point is that we at least tried I agree I will um... my mother had a saying I think it's very applicable to this when you're shaking someone's hand in agreement make sure your other hand is not idle we have this very well as might break out into war we should at least prepare for the worst. Mm -hmm. I was... Your mother must be a very wise woman. I was thinking something similar. Um, we can send this letter to um, the officers in charge of the cohorts outside the city um, and perhaps copies of it to individuals in Armnaris. But in the same time, we should and the people of the people of Illyria have a right to know what happened tonight. We can write that out as well. I think we should not now. Uh, there's more pressing matters, but thank you for this. And she kind of. Um, did you want me to arrange for this to be sent out there? Um, with the soldiers, we can help the prisoner soldiers. We can help um, escort them to make sure that there's no... Of course. Oh, that's not, you know, <laughs> not going to happen until we have the city secured, though. No. Well, we can keep them here in the garrison until then. They're they're guarded. Great. They're Excellent. they're already guarded. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Then I guess we'll just continue to help in the next few hours, just sort of securing the city. Thank you. And she's like, looks to each of you, looks you in the eyes. Thank you so much for the help that you have given to me and Malik. We will mourn him after this. We will give him a proper mourning. Yes. All right. I, I won't keep you any longer. Um, I'll be in the Decimus or uh, in the Sylva Sylvian Manor uh, with the wounded. Okay. We're going to head to the, the Dreg's Gate. Okay. Thank you. Um, and she'll start heading off towards like the wounded and start talking to people and pointing kind of towards the east and people are nodding and I'm also generally gonna... the image of a of an effective leader or organizer. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to double check the uh, cleric one more time for any double. any uh, deity symbols. Oh, um. Yes, there is. Where? Also, real quick, uh, Jake, I added a note in the uh, like the inventory thing in the chat, saying that okay. we put all the stuff we're planning on trading in your handy haversack. Okay, cool. And I like how it was. Not to trade for money, to trade specifically for healing. <laughs> healing potions. Yeah, yeah, we need them <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, so the looking at um, the items that you took from the 
the cleric. Actually, on the cleric's shield is a... Uh, so it's a heavy wooden shield. Inlaid on the front of the shield in silver is what appears to be a spear with a sunburst behind the head. If you wanted to identify what that is, I would require a knowledge religion check. Everybody roll. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. Ten. Religion? Yep. Woo. That tracks. Oh. <laughs> I might actually know this one. Uh, where's religion? 22. 15. Okay. Oh, should we oh, also gosh. Maybe consider that uh, there might be another assassin somewhere? Mm hmm. Well, S, right? Yes. Probably. Yeah. Going to go meet up. Is there any clue in that note on where they were planning on meeting? Just said where they normally meet, right? Yep. It said I will I will type it out. I think in the in the chat. Um so Elliswin. Oddly enough, it sparks a memory for you. Um, you remember seeing this symbol. It's not something that you see very often, but it is a um, a symbol associated with Kemuel, which is the arch archangel um, of uh, warfare and defense, an archangel of Amriel. Uh, well, also kind of, known as Kemuel the Spear. It's kind of an obscure symbol, but uh, it's. Have you ever heard of Kemuel the Spear? It's one of uh, Amriel's. I have! Well, apparently this cleric had as well. I checked that it's, out. It's not necessarily like obscure obscure it's just um the uh of the of the three um archangels of amriel kemuel is probably the least like specifically followed or worshipped um just because most people don't really you know worship the the warfare side mm -hmm. of uh of amriel Well, I knew that um, I knew that they had they had art archangels. There were three of them. Yes. And I knew that there was a warfare one. So that checks out. That checks out. That checks out. <laughs> Check checking. We're good then. We know what's going on here. We also kind of killed a cleric of Amrail. So uh, don't tell Marius about that because I still need that other level. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> In a week, yeah. Great. All right. To the dregs, then. To the dregs. Also, the dregs have probably expired for everyone by this point. What's up? Well, the spell fly is probably expired for everyone at this point, I'm assuming. How many minutes is it up for? Like, at our level, max 11, depending on who casts it. Oh, yeah, 11 minutes. Yeah, definitely. That's up. Yeah, it's not, not Mine would have been up for. Uh, 18 for, my, for myself because I had to upcast it to preserve fireball slots, but mm -hmm. I think that would also be up by this point. Yeah, and Especially Ox's, like in traveling to the dregs. Ox's sword stops glowing bright energy. <laughs> Brilliant energy. All right, well, um, wait. There is one thing about this letter. What? 
we'll go see her together. Yeah. Brisania. Probably. That's what I'm thinking as well. That also means that she's probably somewhere nearby. Probably. Will... Do we know for sure that, uh... Smiley is dead? Smiling Ronia would probably go by R instead of S. <laughs> she doesn't really go by smiling. Smiley? <laughs> Did you call her Smiley? That's what it says in the journal whenever she's referenced. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Nah, it's probably just someone. But, um... Yeah, I just, just keep on our toes, I guess. I mean... Just pointing it out, it might be an opportunity to end all of this. What was that? I said it might be an opportunity to end all of this as well. Yeah, we just don't know where they're at. I mean... Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so of course. I mean, there's no way of knowing. No um, way. Pines Grove. Second I was... story. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Can we just hear somebody fall out of a window? Right, yeah. It's like, I knew it. <laughs> oh, there they are. What were you going to say, Janus? Were you going to say something? No, I'm seeing where, looking at where we're going. Yes. The tricks. Yeah, so we're going over to the. Are south. we going? So we're going outside the city no. walls? No, no, no. We're going to defend the wall, basically. I okay. Think. Uh, that actually works out perfectly then. Cool. Um, Zach. Hmm. On the inside of this wall, are there any like small parks or um, like trees growing in the city? <laughs> Anything like that? Um, actually, so north and east, um, away. From the dregs, it would be the uh, would be the city parks, right okay. in front, right in front of the the citadel, the high seat, where the governor would live if the governor were even in the city. I see, right here. Uh, no, no, green area. Oh, yeah. I see it. Yeah, the parks. Okay, <laughs> we're we're in the slums. Yeah, and this part member of town has been like run down and mm -hmm. boarded up and and burned, run over. <laughs> yeah, not good. Run over by a cart. Not good. <laughs> right. um, uh, I like I'm to go. I would like to go to the Red Sands Tavern. If anyone wants to come, check out that area. You um, go alone. I agree. Maybe um, we go that way to get them. Along that same spirit, I'm actually wanting to go scout out the outside of the wall a little bit. Um, um, I can't take any of you with me because I plan to hop around with um, Tree Stride. I can essentially just teleport around between different trees. Mm. But it's I can't take anybody with me. You can be invisible too, right? So you could be... Exactly. All or, right. I think you'd be safe. No. Oh. I, I'm i out of invisibility. What's your health at? 33. Um. I'm not getting um, into, like, I can literally teleport in from a tree, like, a thousand feet away. I'm not getting into any conflict. You might not get Watch that choice. They do snakes. have arrows. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is one part. Are, are we going to deal with um, this wall before we do that? With what? Well, Adari told us to go to the gate, right? That's where we're going, we, yeah. So the Red Sands Tavern is, is right over there by the gate, near the gate. It's a little bit out of the way. Yes. So... I, I prefer, prefer, personally, 
Like, if you two want to go there, that's fine. I want to get to the front. I was thinking to see us fighting with him. I was thinking we could get to the gate and see how it is. And then if it's appropriate to go, I'd like to go check out the Red Sands Tavern. Okay. Well, I think we should. I think we should get to the gate first. Yeah. You can do that. We go to the gate. Okay. The drag. <laughs> the drag's gate. gate. Yep. Drag's gate. Okay. Um. When you arrive, um, or you get close, you can see the the. Sky is lit up with torches. Um, there's probably enough fire that there's a, a small, like like a thin pall of smoke around the area. So the the light just kind of diffuses, and you can see it from quite a quite a ways away. Um, the closer you get to the gate, the louder it becomes. You hear the clashing of uh, ringing and clashing of steel, uh, shouts and screams as people are fighting and dying, um, oh, and you find. The Legion is currently holding the gate, um, and there is a just mob of people um, in the uh, in the square around the gate. And the Legion is kind of, if you figure, um, yeah, I guess I can try to try to draw something. No, you if, still have uh, one more fireball, yeah, right? One more fireball. <laughs> If I'm gonna this... go ahead and cast fly on myself right now. Okay. If this is the gate right here, this this the legionaries are basically holding kind of like a spearhead mm -hmm. shape U shape. Inside um, the gate, yeah. They are controlling the doors the of the gatehouse. So they also have archers up on the gatehouse that are shooting arrows as well. Um, Shoot. rough count, uh, would put them at, Ox, you would actually, with your prior military service, um, would put the total amount of legionaries around, in and around and defending the gate at probably just under a cohort, which would put it around 400 men. We can take them. Yeah, I mean, we just fought. Which, based on, just based on the amount of soldiers you saw outside, it's a, a big chunk of the the soldiers that were here um, um, here in the city. Goodness. All right, well, all right. Uh, Ox is just going to look at Katarina and Elswin and Janus. Okay, well, I have no healing. I have one more uh, celestial s spirit. I can attack from far away with a bow. We could try to take out the archers. I'm thinking I might be able to fly up and deal with them in close quarters. I can accompany you. We could try taking them before you get up close, only so that you don't get hurt, because there's... Unless you want to use your healing. I could, I could like fly up around the side. Do you want to take your healing potion now? I should, I should probably do that anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm going to drink the potion of cure serious wounds. How much is that? Let's go. Zach? Hmm. How much is a potion of cure serious wounds? Uh, For healing? Yeah. It, it, is this one... This is one you guys purchased. This, this is Grammel's. Mm -hmm. Oh, it 3D8, says... 3d8 plus 5. 3d8 plus 5. 16. I'll take it. Not bad. Nice. Pretty average. Um, okay. I've got an oil of darkness if we wanted to put it on a coin and throw it in the middle. That way they can't see anything. And then... People could just shoot a bunch of arrows into there, but they couldn't see anything either, so... I, I take it the people aren't using bows. Most aren't. Um, there are a couple, but they're far outnumbered by the amount of legionary archers, and mm -hmm. so you can see, like, 
you even like as you're standing in the street, see um, one of the citizens like duck out from an alleyway with a bow and draw back, and he like immediately gets hit by like two arrows and falls to the mm. ground. Oh, I'm sorry. Ox also took the plus two plate, on, full plate. Oh yeah, don't forget. And that. put that um, on. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> as you guys are kind of standing there assessing the situation, uh, one of the you see a, a guy. Um, one of the nearby citizens kind of runs up to you. Um, he looks he looks better. Well, he doesn't seem better. He he is better armed than most of the um, citizens. He even has like what appears to be like maybe chain a chain shirt um, under his clothes, and he has a sword with him um, and a small shield. Uh, as he like kind of runs up out of breath, he like snaps kind of to like a sloppy kind of salute um more out of you know tiredness than anything um uh uh, uh, i guess of the four of you i'm gonna say that ox probably looks the most impressive and militaristic so he's gonna look at ox (laughs) <laughs> with a sword and yeah. full plate yes <laughs> full plate buckler big like two swords two no swords less. um super brawny yeah um <laughs> snaps the salute at you <sighs> life sworn good to see you here uh, um, people Finally. are starting to <laughs> <laughs> people are starting to lose some some hope that we'll win the gate is there something you can do about those archers oh is there Katarina <laughs> Elizabeth. Uh, good. Janus, uh, let's go. He's going to turn and he's going to... Um, let's see. You guys call yourself Sunder and Suture, but I don't know that you've really... <laughs> Sunder and Suture! Never roll marketed out! It. We've, only, <laughs> we've only ever marketed it in the arena. In yeah. Our yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So... Um, he turns away and starts like shouting, the heroes of Fox Libertatus are here. And I was like, ah, and they're looking towards you. And then there's like this rallying, like, you know, people like there's oh, man. renewed energy. Um, so we're going to play this kind of theater of the mind. Awesome. What okay. are you guys going to do to assist the taking of this gate? So we'll, we'll start with whoever. So, <laughs> So, Elswin, you have a dex bonus for when you use a longbow, right? Yes, I do. So, I don't have bonuses like that. Would you... What do you got? Do you want to use it to try to take down the archers? Um, I got a lot of magic missiles and, like, scorching rays and stuff that I'd probably use first. Okay. Because I can use that while you do that. Um, yeah, but you're definitely so. going to do more damage, honestly, than I can because of your bonuses. Um, okay. Yeah, but... I can give you the crossbow then, if we want to trade for right now. Master worth light crossbow. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not the not the not the evil crossbow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was that like, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll I'll cast bull strength on myself. Oh, speaking of, who's holding that? No, it's um, in the handy haversack. Who who picked it up? Not Katarina me. Katarina did. Katarina did. Remind me of your alignment. Yeah. Awful neutral. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we looked that up. It was like, oh, I was like, I'm not taking that. It's like, oh, you should try it. No. <laughs> um. I found that out. All right, and then I I'll go ahead also and do potion of enlarged person. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Mega ox. So as I'm like, I'll cool. use the crossbow as much as I can until we get those those uh, archers. And then I'm going to totally be like, make a hole. And I'm going to run for the straight for like the front lines. And I wish you had great cleave. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We can level up. I can get a, so, I can get so a cool. feet. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. so cool if you had cleave. <laughs> Um, okay, so Ox is, is uh, going mega and charging for the front. 
Um, Ooh, and Bears Endurance. Okay. And um, Ella's win is sniping out archers with magic missiles. Uh, yeah, mag- I've got magic missile, I've got force missiles, i got scorching ray. i got a couple scorching rays. That's okay. So. Okay. Uh, what about Janus? What about um, Katarina? Katarina is, first off, casting Cat's Grace and Shield. Um, and then is going to fly, like, trying to, like, stay out of sight, like, by going, like, under roof lines and stuff, like, out of sight of the archers, up to the wall, so that she can then fly straight up the wall and get up into, like, the area where the archers are. Okay. Um, and then once she, like, has elevation, the first thing she'll probably do is drop a fireball down into, like, the soldiers. Okay. Um, but then start trying to, like, distract the archers using things like her claws, what she has left, um, shocking grasp. Like that Got it. To take them out in close range. Okay. And Janus. Um, are they firing from on top of a wall or from, like, arrow slits? Yes. Okay. Um, in that case, I am first going to cast, um, full strength on myself. Yeah. Um, Janus is I'm going mega. <laughs> strong Janus. <laughs> Listen, I still have a negative modifier. <laughs> um... And then I'm going to summon Monster 4, summon 1d3 yes. Dire Bats. Oh my okay. gosh. Um, and I'm going to just send them after the people on, the archers on top of the wall, which I summon. I summon Monster 3, yes, 1d3. Two of them. Okay. If you can have those pick people up and drop them, that would be incredible. <laughs> like a... <laughs> Are dire bats large or are they medium? A dire bat is here we go. Uh large. Okay. Okay. Um is there, there anything extra you, beefy? Anything you are doing besides summoning? No, I'm trying to conserve spells. Okay. All right. Um so very, uh, very um, cinematically, we'll go we'll go through this um, as it as it happens. So Ox, uh, immediately you grow to be. I don't know what your height is normally, but now you are like twelve feet tall, um, and with your sword blazing light charging mm-hmm. into yep. um, the front line make quite a sight the uh, you you I mean, realistically you're you're much stronger but realistically you're still only one person so you you manage it through the course of the fighting to um, kill several legionaries um, and support your people but the main effect that you have is from morale um, seeing you there, uh, the citizens are bolstered and the legionaries are pretty, pretty shaken by a giant woman in, with a glowing sword and mm-hmm. like magical plate armor. Mm-hmm. Um, while the spectacle, um, while your spectacle is happening, which actually helps both Elizwin and Katarina in what they're attempting to do, um, Elizwin slipping in and out of shadows around mm-hmm. people, hiding in tiny nooks and crevices. Um, you are systematically um, uh, dropping archers with um, magical attacks. I mean, they're getting sneak attacked every time. There's no way for them to be able to track you. Um, and they're also pretty distracted by the, the fight and by a certain um, team member who is putting on quite a show. Um, and while that's happening, basically, if you can picture in your mind, like, magic missiles hitting archers along the wall and killing them as Katarina flies in right behind that, um, in through, like, one of the open doors to the gatehouse and just ensuing 
screams in chaos as she starts tearing into archers. Um, I'd imagine there would be also a, uh, a sudden and intense blast of like white blue light um, and frost go around all the arrow slits as she breathes um, uh, her breath weapon in close quarters. And then the door bursts open and she continues laying waste to the ramparts. Um, and then suddenly, I think it said two or three bats. Three dire bats. Two bats. Two. Um, oh, it's two. When they die, I'll summon another uh, few. Okay. So um, uh, bats in pairs and groups seem to sw uh, swoop out of the darkness of the night and the smoke that's quickly uh, accumulating around this fight with all the, the torches. Um, that are burning as they are um, swooping out of the darkness, latching onto archers and biting their necks, bearing them to the ground. Um, a pair of bats manage to grab one of the archers and lift him up in the air. And a few minutes, a few moments later, um, you hear his screaming as he comes down and he hits on the rampart, like half on the rampart. Suddenly, his scream cuts off and he falls to the city streets um, in a manner of. It feels like uh, it feels like days, but really in the manner of about 15 minutes, um, the legionaries demoralized um, with no more support from the wall, pull, start to pull back through the gate. Um, yes. Eventually you gain control of the, the gatehouse and close the city, uh, close the gate, the dregs gate. There are a lot of dead and wounded um, on both sides. The city or the, the streets are running red. Um, and the smell of torches, the acrid smoke of torches, the coppery um, scent of blood hangs in the air like a, like a fog. You have a moment to um, catch your breath um, and then let's see, I'll roll for the other gate. Okay, um, you will, you have a few, say like a couple of minutes to um, heal or do what you need to do. Um, I will say, Elliswin and Janus you wouldn't have taken any additional damage. Um, Katarina, you were mostly fighting archers who aren't super great at melee. Um, so... With an AC of 32. With an AC of 32, granted. But when it comes yeah. down to actual, like... Front like melee combat armor class only matters so much. Um, See, so through the course of the fighting, um, you end up taking fifteen points of damage. Most of it in the form of like shallow cuts or um, grazing hits. And then Ox, considering that you were in the freaking thick of it. <laughs> I hope you healed up pretty well. Yeah. I also, one of the spells gives me... Okay. Constitution. Bear's Endurance, yeah, gives me oh. like 22 extra hit points. So when uh, those go away, how be, does that work? Be fucking warm. That's the... That's that's, the instant barbarian that, is, yeah. that is um, what we call sudden instant barbarian death syndrome. Got it. Okay. <laughs> ah. Um... Okay, a lot of low numbers. Okay. Uh, through the course of the fighting ox, you're going to take 33 points of damage. Okay, that's fine. That's. I'm still up even with my normal hit points, so... Okay. Just make sure you're above 22. Because if you're not, and that runs that well, actually, how long bears endurance? How many minutes does minute that last? Per level, and it would have been a potion. 
So, okay. like, I'm at 68 hit, hit points, and then taking 33, I drop to 35. Okay. So but then you lose the 22. For... And then you'll lose the 22. Well, Bear's and you'll Endurance lose that. would go up, and then it goes down. No. So it's it's not temporary hit point. Okay. So I just if you they're they're additional hit points based from based on your constitution score. So it's significantly worse than temporary hit points. So am I losing points? Mm -hmm. So if you if what what's your hit what was your health going into the fight without bear's endurance? Sixty eight. Okay. You lose thirty three from that. Yep, I'm at thirty five. Okay, that's what you're at. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't. I didn't know if you were adding bears and bears or not to that number. No, I was just okay. wondering if they like, yeah, cool. Okay, um, you have a few minutes to a few minutes to catch your breath. Oh my goodness! Do we find any healing potions? <laughs> these are, they're, these are just. Legionaries, they're not going to have healing potions on. How many, like, numbers-wise, how did we do on this one? Was it as good as the square, or... Like, what's uh, it, the... It's, it was pretty what bloody. Yeah. It was very bloody. Um, for one, this was a much better defensive position for the Legionaries. Mm -hmm. And they had support from the wall. So before you guys showed up, there was, I mean, it was a, it was a killing field. That's not great. Genius, you still have that cure moderate wounds potion that we made today, right? You've got two, you used one. I, I only have one left. Yeah, I, I might use it. I'm really, I mean. Well, I'll we pass over. Yeah. Are we done for today? Is this our last fight? Either way, it's going to be a lot of healing tomorrow that I just do not have. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. That's a very good point. And I also don't think we get to make the decision of if we're done today. Well, that's a very good point. But... You do know that Adari asked you to support both gates. All right. What was the other one? I only remember Let's go one. to the other one. Cloud Crest. So, so as you one. guys are, actually, as you guys are catching your breath, uh, that same guy um, runs up. He has a bandage on his his uh, arm now. Um, What's your name? <laughs> and it looks like a bandage across his head where there's like, looks like some blood, um, like a head wound. Mm -hmm. uh, what's his name? <laughs> uh, his name is Darius. All right, Darius. What do you got for us? Uh, uh, well, that was something. Um... Another, uh, the, the other gate isn't doing so well. Uh, I think the legionaries are close to breaking through. Lead the way. All right. Uh, he's gonna, like, point out, point to a bunch of people, like, to Cloudcrest, support the gate! Um, and it's like, you, stay here. Um, Ox, can you give me, a Call it sense motive. Not 20. Perfect. So um, thirty-five. Okay. So seeing <laughs> seeing how Darius um, handles himself, and and you get the feeling that he has experience in the military. You don't get the like your sense sense motive. You don't think there's anything off. You're just like I think he was in the military at some point. Hmm. Anyway, so he's going to lead you through the <laughs> anyway. twisting, anyway. twisting, winding streets um, of the uh, depths of the Aulis Markets. Um, you end up getting to, you actually break into the, where the produce markets usually are, um, that, that big square. Um, and when you get there, you actually see the legionaries have indeed pushed into the city and there is fighting in the square. All right. Um, so, again, how are the four of you going to support this fight? Currently, um, speaking to, like, Darius grabs someone and asks them, like, what's going on? It says the legionaries just broke through the gate, uh, or just managed to push through the gate. They're in, um, they're in the produce markets. Um, 
and they're trying to push up the boulevard, uh, the Aulis Market Boulevard, towards the center of the city. Okay, give me so. a second here to just go through my inventory because I used some stuff. <laughs> yep, that's totally fine. <clears throat> oh, how, how am I doing on spell slots after that? Um, it seemed like I'd say mark yourself down one or two breath weapons. Um, depends on how many spells you wanted to use. Seemed like you were trying to use claws more yeah. than not. Um, so also mark down uses of those. Okay. I mean, I'll it was. A I'll call myself out of claws. I also have one breath weapon left. I'll use up some breath bubbles. I mean, yeah. As far as as far as tabletop RPG battles go, that was pretty protracted. Um, yeah. You didn't necessarily need to be fighting the whole time, but. Um. Okay, I'll go ahead and put on some bark skin and potion of heroism. Potion of haste. Oh my gosh, I am gonna. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Cause I don't have my celestial spirit. All right. Okay. Um. Oh frick. I mean, I'll just try picking off one at a time so that I don't get flanked. I'll try to be careful. I'm careful okay. this time. So right. picking up so one less, at a time, not less front line, but still in the front line. Oh yeah, okay. Strategical front line, not like you're I'm in the front line. You are not. There. You are not the front line. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Last last fight, you were the front line. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. I can back. You yeah. So too. bark skin heroism, because I'm assuming my boots of speed are all gone too. Um, this gives me some pretty good AC, though. And I've got really good attacks right now. <laughs> Plus 18s. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right. So Ox is going to be the uh, anchor of the, the front line, while not necessarily being the spearhead. Um, same order. Elizwin, what what are you going to be doing? I'm going to be backing Ox up. It's knife time. So okay. I'm just going to kind of try to pick off the people who are trying to maybe surround. Flank with me. Flank okay, with yeah. me. Yeah. Basically, what I'm doing. <laughs> yep. Hello. All right. So as as Ox is, um, I'm going to say Ox, you actually kind of are going to act a little bit like a almost like an officer. Um, you're still fighting, mm -hmm. but a lot of also what you're doing is trying to encourage people and um, coordinate them. And while you're uh, while you're engaged in fighting, Elizwin is uh, your shadow. Mm -hmm. um, and if they don't fall to your blade, they fall to her. Uh, all right, Katarina. Uh, <laughs> so, much like the beginning of the last fight, Katarina is going to buff up with Fly, uh, Cat's Grace, and then her final first level spell, Shield. Okay. Um, and is probably going to mutter to herself something along the lines of, In Renani, if there is any time for whatever the hell you did up on that mountain to me to like kick in and that would be great <laughs> <laughs> um and then is going to quickly like try to like fly around to like the back of the forces okay and then with her final fireball and her final breath weapon start to try to chew through those and then just start throwing like scorching rays get a flaming spear on the field try to roll around just scatter the military mm -hmm. just basically try to be like a driving wedge to completely like separate and panic their forces she'll probably use her four, final fourth level spell which as well to cast fear oh okay just to just to cause utter utter panic among the military's forces got it uh janus 
What are you doing? All right, so ground troops. I am going to... Something I haven't done in a good while. First, I'm going to start off with... No, oh, those are short range. Yeah, I'll just do this. Um, summon Monster 4 again. Mm -hmm. okay. um, the troop that is marching like and trying to get to us. I see they're trying to disperse it. So I'm going to summon 1d3 Aurochs and have them stampede. <laughs> oh, you know yeah. what? You said I haven't done this in a while. And I'm like, it's going to summon something with, with Trample. <laughs> 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 I, I just freaking know it. I know yeah. he's going to do it. There is one Auroch. <laughs> one, 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 one glorious Auroch. <laughs> Summon 30 feet above the... Above the... <laughs> there you go. See, I'm telling you. It's a killer strategy. <laughs> Dropping the A-bomb. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, as the, the fight progresses in the produce markets... Um, Ox and Elizwin <clears throat> do a wonderful job of both inspiring courage in their comrades and striking fear in the legionaries. <clears throat> it's remarkable what someone with inhuman dexterity and stealth abilities um, can... It's, it's, it's amazing what they can hide in in the middle of a fight um, <laughs> with people being distracted and constantly engaged in combat. Um, so Elizwin is the, uh, specter of death hanging around Ox as you two are, um, keeping, keeping the, uh, morale of the troops, of your troops high. Um, meanwhile, uh, Katarina is, is flying around and generally making a terror herself. Um, from your vantage point, you can see the fighting in the markets and you can see fighting in the main boulevard. Um, which is trying to spill out into side streets um, as they're trying to um, spearhead towards um, uh, spearhead towards in towards the center of the city um, through the use of well placed fireball um, and breath weapon. You manage to um, stop what was quickly becoming a very bad situation. Um, and gave enough breathing room for the citizens to regroup and rally and uh, hold the legionaries back. And then with uh, the destructive element of fire um, at your fingertips with a ball of flame, wall, excuse me, uh, sphere? Flaming sphere. Flaming sphere. Couldn't remember the name of the spell for some reason. Uh, with a flaming fire. sphere and... Uh, Goodness gracious. And uh, Scorching Rays, <laughs> you sow <laughs> discord and um, chaos into the ranks of the of the legionaries. Um, at the same time, Janus, is the Aurochs the only thing you're summoning? Um, yeah, again, I'm trying to go conserve spells. Um, I, I'm out. I'll use two more um, fourth level spells, so I'll be out of those. Um, second round, I summon... Two Aurochs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quickly growing a herd. All right. If only I could cast this one more time. <laughs> okay, so three Aurochs in total? Three Aurochs in total. Okay. I, um, I have now used all of my spell slots. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I will be casting Grease <laughs> over different points that where they are marching at the... Um, not like the very, very front lines, but just behind them. So it's like the people in the second position are going to hit it. Okay. All I don't right. want our troops accidentally hitting it. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to cast Grease a few times. Okay. So, uh, Janus, you summon several Aurochs who charge in and, and break through um, the, the front line of the Legionaries. Um Sewing quite a doing quite a bit of damage, sowing some chaos. They're kind of short lived because uh, they. I mean, you're going to trample right into the center of their forces, so they're going to get cut mm -hmm. down pretty fast. But they do the job. They create a spearhead opening for um, more of the citizens to uh, to um, start 
breaking down the front line. And then with um, troops running up to reinforce and plug the hole, slipping on uh, grease, um, you're able to uh, able to keep that hole open for long enough for it to make a pretty big difference. So steadily, um, the legionary forces are pushed back towards the cloud press gate. Many of them on the main boulevard um, are full on routing, uh, running back to the gate from the fiery balls of justice of Katarina um, and the uh, rallied citizens on the main boulevard. And eventually after, after 20, 25 minutes of fighting, um, you manage to uh, gain control of the gatehouse and close the gate. Yes. Um, I'm going to say, Janus, you weren't in combat, so uh, and there were significantly less archers to worry about. And you're also right. a pretty small target, so you didn't take any damage. Uh, Katarina, you were flying the entire time, so um, you didn't end up taking any damage either. Ox and yeah, and Ella's win. So Ox, you're gonna take um, 15 points of damage. Ella's win. Wow, that's a really good roll for you. Um, six six points of damage. <laughs> I'm really I worried there for I a rolled second. Ones and twos. That's it. <laughs> Sweet. So. I realize in my inventory I have one cure light wound, so I'm gonna drink that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Zero healing, guys. We're out. <laughs> well, I think that is the super locked down. Um. Persevaria. As you guys are standing there, kind of, I don't know, catching your breaths. Um, I guess picture it as almost a. What is it? Um. Uh, the end of the Avengers movie when they're all eating ch picture it almost as that except obviously you're not eating anything and you're not in a nice restaurant you're in a blood soaked city street in the middle of the night um, uh, but as you're standing there kind of gathering your breath Darius comes back up again uh, crisp salute to uh, life swarm and uh, Darius um other messengers are, are reporting that the other gates have been closed successfully. Life sworn. Um, there's a couple more pockets of, of uh, legionaries, but they're quickly surrendering now that the city's been seized or uh, sealed. Excellent. Excellent reports. Well done. Good fight. Good fight, Darius. Good fight. And uh, he's going to kind of like like beaming like ear to ear um he's now got like a couple more injuries and wounds that have been absolutely bandaged and stuff um like the guy's pretty battered too and he uh lifts his sword up and he's like kind of staring around his kind of shouts to the crowd around like three cheers for the heroes of box libertad and they're gonna oh, be uh, oh 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 wait yeah, whoa 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 they're, we're they're gonna cheering go for you guys by thunder and suture <laughs> <laughs> Katarina <laughs> Janus um, and then, the uh, organization I deserve <laughs> Ella's <laughs> giving bows <laughs> I can't hear you <laughs> signing, signing people's like wow <laughs> yeah exactly can you, can you sign my club oh my gosh yeah um so you are, uh, it's been the work of um, over an hour of, uh, nearly an hour of fighting, um, but you have managed to repel the legionaries, uh, the legion from both the dregs gate and the cloud crest gate. You are tired, you are injured, um, and you are pretty well tapped out, uh, physically and mentally exhausted. Um, as the, the fighting kind of is over, um, the tired, the fatigue settles on you, um, maintaining that level of energy for that amount of time, um, is very draining. 
Mm-hmm. So now standing in front of the cloud gate or a uh, cloud crest gate, um, I would say Janus looks clean and good as ever. Um, <laughs> Oh Katarina gosh. has some, like, probably up to her elbows covered in blood from the previous mm-hmm. fight, but it's mostly dried. Um, and on the hand that's the, the, wherever their scales are, the blood has, like, flaked off already. Um, uh, Ox, probably you and now Elizwin are just, you're, you're pretty um, visceral, we'll say. Uh, you've been in the thick of the fighting. Um, you are, um, pretty covered in blood. This is my style. (laughs) (laughs) Some of it yours, most of it, uh, most of it others. I miss this fighting. I miss fighting. I felt really, really good. (laughs) (laughs) It suits that noir quite nicely. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, Bjorn, Bjorn was parked nearby, right? He was like right here in the produce at market, right? He was. Uh, was. No, he's oh, he's, he's to the he's... east. Never mind then. He's like midway between Quintus Hill and the Aulis Markets. I might go check. Oh, out he's kind of you know. A stone's oh, throw from there. Roger's shrubbers, shrubs. Oh my god, he's on the way to Sylvia Manor. That's which is so great. Where we should head. Do we no, want to? Do you want to go to the Red Sands Tavern? I do. Oh, yeah. I do. Might... I want to go check on Marius. We should probably also figure out where we're going to spend the night. Um, because I don't think we can. I think we need to find a new place to lay low. Well, Other than Sylvian Manor? We should check. Adari said she was going to the Sylvian Manor, so we should go check in over there. Hmm. Agreed. But first, let's stop by Red Sands. Yeah, let's go there first. Let's go there first, yeah. then decide. Okay. We'll go to the Red Sands Tavern. All right. Um... Uh, walking um, your way to the Red Sands Tavern is going to take probably close to 20 minutes, um, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast you want to go. Eventually, you'll get there. As you're walking through the city, every once in a while, you you come across uh, a band of citizens um And uh, they'll kind of like hail, um, like lift their weapons, makeshift weapons and salute and um, cheer for you. Uh, Every once in a while, you'll see a group of citizens leaving, leading some disarmed um, legionaries. Mm. Um, For Samaria! uh, Yeah, (laughs) Ah, Samaria! Samaria! Heroes of Vox Libertatis, heroes of... It just just um, goes all the way I guess there. that's just our yeah. label now. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop yeah. them. <laughs> They'll figure it out eventually. Um, some of them have it. Oh know, my gosh! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any boo zales on fire. <laughs> uh, no, there's actually as you, you get um, by Bola's armory. There's actually a whole orchestra of boo zales. Oh. <laughs> heralding you <laughs> um, glorious glorious fanfare anyway uh, you, you wind your way through the streets um, seeing constant um, evidence of, of fighting um, and distressingly some uh, places where shop windows have been uh, broken and people have taken advantage of right. the uh, mm-hmm. Uh, unrest to um, have taken advantage of the unrest. You make it to the Red Sands Tavern. It's dark. Um, the door is appears to be barred or locked when you get there. Marius? Marius, are you in there? Uh... 
Marius, it's Ox. Are you sure it's Marius? Marius, mm. Marius is Hang the on. Free. Marcellus. It's been yes, a while, sir. okay? It's been a, it's been a year since and I've wow. seen this guy in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Marcellus? Marcellus. Was it Marcellus? That sounds right. Yes, Marcellus is Thank right. you. I was like, M. Marius is the... I am real guy, right? Yep. That's right. Yep. A lot of M's, okay. Marcellus! It's Ox. Are you in there? Ox? Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> you hear some footsteps, the sliding of uh, something wood on wood, and then the door creaks open. You see... Ox? Uh... He like it takes a second for his eyes to like for him to identify you. Yeah. Um seeing as you look radically okay. different from from when he last saw you. Um not only are you wearing like plate armor, but you're also covered in blood. Yeah. Um My hair's longer. <laughs> it's I'm oh, bulkier. Right, you didn't recognize me I'm because of the red bulkier. arm. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> exactly that. That's exactly because of the red armor. The red armor. Yeah. <laughs> um, he kind of like muscles the door open, and you can you get the feeling that there's something, some kind of furniture that was holding the door shut. He's open. Ox, oh, and he's like, you can see he's got a uh, what appears to be a short sword in one hand. Oh. uh What's that? Well, it's good to see you. Great to see you. And she just like claps him in a big hug and doesn't care about the blood all over. <laughs> it's fine. He, he kind of cares. Uh, he kind of cares. Uh, Look, it's fine. It's uh, Savara has been where Savara is um, is safe right now. We've we've held the gates. Um, the oh. city is ours. Well, that's. Good news, but I'm gonna say safe is a relative. Safe for the yes, you're sorry, wrong terminology. Whatever. Great to see you. It's great to see you. What? Uh, what? What? What are you doing here? Just making not sure. That I'm, this, not that I'm unhappy to see you. Making sure this place isn't isn't burned down or anything, you know. Um, no, nothing worth burning down here. No, no. Excellent. Wonderful. 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 Great. Well. Great. Um, Seems like you've seen some fighting tonight. Just a bit. Some things never change, huh? No. No, you've met, have you met my friends? And she'll introduce everyone. Yeah, I think we Hi. met. It's been a while, but... Yeah. Mm. I don't know if they've met Mary... Mary I don't uh, think they Mary have. Marcel. Oops. Mm -mm. I think the last time that you I was here with saw him, and Samuel. you guys were Peg. leaving the city oh, to go it was north. The session right before Janus. Sam was still alive. Exactly, it was south, actually yeah. the session we met Janus. Yeah. So it was, yeah it was oh, session. right. Which is why you had to for like two hours. Even when we came back before? I don't know I if know, I we all Ox met him bad. together. I know Ox that. went and saw him yeah. before we left for Karst, but Ox went alone. Ox, yeah, that's, yeah, I haven't. That's the him. last time she she saw him was she went alone. I'm also still old Janus. <laughs> <laughs> don't let his disguise deceive you. This one is very good at what he does. Very fast. You cannot catch him. If you played tag with him, he would win. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's tag? <laughs> we played it before. <laughs> um, well, I'm glad to see that you're He's seen us. safe ish. <laughs> I mean, it looked like you took a battering. Although, knowing you, I can only assume that the, the other the other guys look worse. They certainly do. Hey, I just thought of this. This isn't why I came here, but you wouldn't by chance have any of my old concoction. Just a few of those hanging around. <laughs> The healing potions, guys, not the other one, okay? Uh, <laughs> just for being a little concerned that you were off the wagon. No. I mean, yeah, I suppose I could. I'll trade. I have a couple I could Gold spare. for you if you. Yeah. No, you take them. Excellent. Oh, are you sure? Are you sure? You could use some 
new paint on this. He looks you in the eyes. Oxonia, take them. Yes. Can do. Okay. How many do we get? You get five potions of cure life wounds. Yes! And we're going to drink them tonight, right? Right, seriously. <laughs> right here, right now. Just cheers. I know, right? We could. You guys want to have a cheers? Right here on the red. Yeah, I'll, I'll there do that. There's your potion. Let's have a cheers. Let's have a cheer. You know what? This is this is celebratory. We need... We need... Everyone go get a cup. <laughs> we're making this a thing. This is water in it. We're good. All right. Um, every, let's see, Janus, you're injured, right? I just want to make sure this yes, isn't I'm wasting I'm about on half you. hit points. Okay. So yeah, she'll <laughs> pop, she'll give everybody one. And then like right there in like the red sands, we're like, man, like this all started for her. It's crazy. You know, I just feel like I'm not very good at toast, but I'm pretty sure that... <laughs> I know I wouldn't be here without all of you. And I know that Savari would not be here without all of us the way that it is tonight. So, to friendship and to Savaria. To friendship and Savaria. Friendship and Savaria. Friendship and Savaria. Clink! Clink! I uh, was severely tempted when you said, I'm not great at giving toast. And then he would just say, here, here. And then try to... <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's the toast. Uh, that's it. That's the toast. That's the toast. That's it. Funny enough, though, that is exactly my um, boss at work. Is anytime there's a speech or anything like that, he'll say maybe one or two sentences. Unless someone gives like a talk before him, in which case he will just say ditto. Love it. <laughs> ditto. That's it. <laughs> just drink. Awesome. So what do we uh what do we heal? <laughs> and one uh one D eight plus one. Cool. Oh. They're they're only pure potions that cure light wounds. He doesn't yeah. he doesn't spend a ton of money on this. I'm so. also going to drink the great. last one. So um, <laughs> one d eight plus what? This is this one. is great, guys. Did you roll a one? Hey, I got roll the same thing. thing. I rolled a one. <laughs> That's what I got too. <laughs> the no, roll, you rolled, roll, you rolled roll a again. Oh, on the oh, I saw yours. Oh, there we go. There we go. Eight hit points. Seven. Two hit points. Oof. Eight. I think these might be going bad. <laughs> <laughs> The you dice turn. or your cuts and wounds? <laughs> no, the potions. They the turn. Po <laughs> the potions and my dice. Yeah. I, uh, these that little, brought little me up to heal. What is that half? Hold on. My brain can't do math right now. I have healed. I, this is the most damage I've ever taken in a day, guys. <laughs> most damage you've taken in a day so, so far. So far. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Literally did you guys, everything. Did you guys hear about the time I did that to Noah? No. So we were playing. I was DMing a session. And Noah rolled like, what was it? Like four or five? Or it was like three nat ones. And he said, yes. I've rolled three nat ones. Oh, right. And I said, you've rolled three nat ones so far. <laughs> right. I just needed to roll three more nat ones. <laughs> <laughs> what I was, and what I was it trying was to say was, oh, I haven't man. gotten more than an hour in a this single session. fight. Oh, I need to upload the new, um, updated version of the, with that meme. Oh, yeah, you you guys need to see that. <laughs> oh, dude. So I think I showed you guys before. Um. Yep, it's this one. I'm ready. Of all the times he's hit and missed with scorching ray. <gasps> oh my gosh. Four <gasps> out of what I think is twenty. Oh my gosh. Yep. That that it's is pretty bad. This is in <laughs> in this campaign or in your other one? No, in the other one. 
This is oh my, my gosh. gosh. My, my character it's in that campaign. Bad. This is my track record with all of my attacks. <laughs> he's cursed. Oh, he's, no. he's, cursed. Cursed. He's, not, he's not a bad. Like, you don't have bad numbers. No, I have good numbers. <laughs> So oh gosh that's awesome a, like a startling number of those misses are that's... nat ones too yeah. like a lot of them. so many <laughs> impressive it's hilarious okay all right. all right well you have your drink uh you feel slightly better some of you <laughs> Feel more restored than others. I, I really don't feel different. I mean, <laughs> put this in perspective, weird. okay? He's a humble owner of a, a bar and fighting arena, right? He doesn't have a whole lot of money to be dropping on like 250 golds on potions of cure moderate. Okay. Just lean over to Katarina. Looked like it tasted like a health potion. But I'm not sure. That <laughs> it's definitely expired. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you, you look under the bottle. Best if you do buy well. a two. Did Jake <laughs> get a two? I rolled a one. I rolled a seven. Oh, you roll. I rolled. Seven I got as the. Well. I got the good bottle. We got the good ones. <laughs> At least that two probably did something for you, Jordan. Oh no no. Let me be clear. I rolled a one and added one. <laughs> no, I know. But what I'm saying. At least that total of two. Probably at least like got rid of a scratch for you. Yeah. I went from 64 out of 122 to 66 out of 122. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're still better You're, than the, me. The like, very slight <gasps> tummy ache you had is gone. Yeah. yeah you what's... probably still have the, the most health out of anybody here. Oh, what yeah. is everyone's health? Yeah, what's everyone's health at? 41. 46. 46. Oh my gosh. I'm at 62. <laughs> you do have the most health. <laughs> uh, yeah, both of you have more than my max hit points currently. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I so now with this belt, Ox is just under my max health. So oh. I'm feeling pretty good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, without the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright. Bjorn's on the way to Sylvian Manor. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I can leave leave for this place. I'll give him my ever burning torch. And just leave that for me. No. Okay. <laughs> It's Thanks. it's awesome. Swish, 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 swish. Mm. We'll just have it be have it be like a reminder that you know Ox, life sworn came here and and her light will never go out. And I don't know, whatever. You can make a shrine of me. You have permission. Let's go. <laughs> you got my permission to make a shrine. Of me. <laughs> it sounds pretentious when you say Yo. it. Like that. You'll means. always be Ox the Tempest to me, Ox. Deal. Alright. <clears throat> so we go back out in the streets. Okay. So Oh. You... Mm, go ahead. I had a thought. I wanna send Abby's Day ahead of us to let uh to let Adari know that everything's cool. Oh yeah. Lol, Abby's Day. Everyone forgot about him. <laughs> I never forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, should we stay at the manor, or should we stay near the... Regardless of where we stay, we should stop in at the manor. Okay, let's go to the manor then. We'll stop by Is... the on the way. Isn't our cart at the manor? Our cart's in a warehouse somewhere. Mm -hmm. oh. Do we know which warehouse? Did we sell it? Or did we put it in a... Oh, we, 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 sold we just sand. sold all of the stock. Got it. Which at that point was just a whole bunch of adamantium scrap that we had Bjorn teleport. Gotcha. All well, right. Do we feel a particular need to see Bjorn tonight, or could we wait for that? I just thought you wanted to stop by. I was just saying because it's on the way. Yeah, I, I would like to check in. We don't need to make like a whole thing out of it. I just want to pop my head and make sure he's you know alive. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. We can do that. We can go there, and then we can go. 
I, I'm exhausted, but I'd rather sleep knowing that the people that care, that, you know, matter the most to us are safe. Agreed. So, yeah. We go to Bjorn's. Yep, Bjorn's. Okay. Um. All right. Let me. Something up real quick. No, this might be that repeating song again. Oh. I don't know if it is, but. I think it is. I think it, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks. <laughs> We could stop by Roger's Shrubs and buy a flower. None of us have been there. Mm -hmm. I've lived in this city. I could go there. <laughs> it's the best place to buy rose bushes. Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. Buy some flowers for Malik. And... Janus was raised by Faye. He likes shrubs. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that works? <laughs> That's I didn't know that was a hobby of it. Fantastic. But... I didn't realize that was the stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Alright. As you get close to um, Bjorn's, um, you are passed by a couple of citizens who are running and looking terrified and panicked. Crap. Is everything all right? Oh, oh, there's, there's a monster back there. Don't, don't go. Don't go there. And they just turn and run in there, in, in coherent, in, uh, inconsolable. All right. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab my sword. And we're gonna cautiously go into this. How much do you guys want to bet it's Froki? That's what I was thinking. It'd be awesome. <laughs> you never know. Very though. well, probably is Froki. What if it's you the freaking cold leaving. one? Oh my gosh. Oh God. <laughs> we're dead. <laughs> I hope Warren not. Might be leaving. He had Froki pull the thing like last time he traveled, didn't he? I think the car moved of its own court, didn't it? I don't know. Let's go. Zach, didn't... let's hurry. Let's hurry. Yeah. We go. Yeah. We go. We go. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you uh, round, as you as you start to get closer, and, and you're about to turn the last corner, you hear this deep, like hissing kind of breathing coming from uh, the square. Um, where his shop is, the little internal square. Um, as you round the corner, you see a huge serpentine figure um, made uh, with like pitch black scales, um, glowing blue eyes, and rising from this serpentine body is no less than a dozen heads. Okay. Snake, snake-like heads, and as you step into that the alleyway, all twelve heads snap and look right at you. I'm the, good. the hissing kind of intensifies. Um, then you hear a voice, "Froki, you knocked that off." Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know who they are, Froki. You need to. You, that's enough fun for one day. You've scared enough people. <laughs> I love Bjorn. As the heads, like, <gasps> half half of the heads, like, turn and look down, like, behind, and the other half are still looking at you. Now, come on. That's not very helpful. I need you to help me here. It's not easy moving an entire shop by yourself, you know. Goodness. Um, as you see Bjorn walk around the uh, <laughs> large serpentine body of Froki. <sighs> well, I'm glad to see that you are um, all in one piece. Mostly. Although it looks like you've got pieces of other people on you. Probably want to get that cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Katarina, can you... Can you... 
Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Hose everybody off Just magically. Spins. <laughs> we should have done that a long time ago. Okay. Um, you guys proceed to uh, press the digitation clean clean everything up. Um, yep. There's just a big ball of blood that is now splats on the ground somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, when you uh, turn back, you see instead of a massive serpentine monster, um, instead a large um, bear-like creature is, uh, is um, standing there being, being hitched up to a cart. <laughs> You heading out, Bjorn? Oh, you know, it's um, being in an active war zone is not very good for business. Um, well, rather, it it's really good for business, um, but I get annoyed all the people coming to my door asking, like, I want a weapon that can destroy an entire army. I want the armor that will protect me for, you know, ever. I want this that will make it so I never die. I want something that always has food in it. Um, oh, wait, actually, that was me. I made that. Anyway, um, <laughs> it just gets annoying. I can't focus on my projects, and none of them have money to buy these things anyway because they don't understand how magic works. So I think we are going to try our luck somewhere else. Not sure where just yet. Fjorn, it's great to see you. Oh, it's good to see, to see you guys. Oh, there was nothing in this city that could hurt me or Froki. Probably true. Good to know, at least. It's a good thing to know that you'll always be safe, at least, for stuff like this. Oh, I am always prepared. So, before you leave, uh, could we maybe... Um trade some things if you've got some healing potions possibly hmm. i think i could arrange something he kind of just like fawns style hits the side of his cart and like the side of it like flops down as kind of like a a storefront type thing similar to the <laughs> cart you guys actually have i yeah. love it and he kind of please come up to my store and he goes inside <laughs> um Looking in through the front of like the uh, the side of the cart, it is obviously much bigger on the inside. Yes, mm -hmm. like way, way bigger. I'd be All surprised right. if it wasn't. What can I help you with? Oh. You said you want some potions. Oh, if you've got some for healing, especially healing serious, potions. serious curing wounds. Oh, some high caliber type stuff, huh? Yeah, we could use it. Mm -hmm. we, we have some stuff we can trade. Mm -hmm. Just uh, dump no, it out. You I, are, just you are fans out. of bartering. Um, I'll start pulling stuff out of the handy haversack. Uh, wait, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me pull that out. The crossbow. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, that's right. I think we should burn that thing. Um, I don't think anyone should have I think have it'd that. be a good idea. Like, How much in-store credit do we have for all this? Just so we know it general amount <laughs> I don't believe you opted to keep but I think you used all of your in-store credit last time okay oh trading this, remember like or not. this oh oh like these things yeah I know how it's yes. going. yeah let me see
כן. Okay, so cure moderate wounds is what you're looking or cure serious wounds, excuse me, mm-hmm. is what you're looking for. Well, let me see. Let me see. Work out the math here. Hold these. Well, let me see. And he kind of pulls up a box of uh, of uh, bottles. You can hear them clinking in there. He kind of like is looking through them. Well, we've got some options. We could, you could buy um, potions of um, making feel better made by me, or you could buy ones made by a cleric friend of mine. Um, Mine are quite a bit more expensive. They're also quite a bit stronger. Um, like um, his are like fifteen hundred each, and Whoa. mine are three thousand each. Whoa! But they are very good at healing. Um, let's see. And you want to trade in some things? Let me take a look at those. Real quick. So, all right, we've got. What's the first thing? Plus Plus two two banded mail. Say that again. Plus two banded mail. Okay, for that I could give you. Three thousand. Well, what do we think we should opt for the higher or lower priced potions? I personally uh, think that I would more go, volume is better. So let's trade in and then see how much money we've got, and then see what. Yeah, that's, that's based we, it on how much total yeah. trade in value we have. Mm-hmm. So then the uh, plus one old unholy heavy crossbow. I personally think we should destroy that thing. To be fair, if we're gonna sell it to anybody, I feel best selling it to Bjorn of all people. Same. Plus one unholy, right? Yep, plus one unholy. This is uh, this is a nice piece here that actually, um, I mean, I'm not a personally a big fan of putting the unholy trait and enchantment on these any weapons, but you know, um, I think I could give you ten thousand for this. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And then. Next up, Ring of Protection plus one and two Cloaks of Resistance plus one. Ring of Protection plus one, I'd give you thousand. And cloak two Cloaks of Resistance plus one? Yeah. I'd give you a thousand for the pair. Okay. And then a plus one Merciful Morningstar. Are you tra- keeping track of these numbers? Yes. Uh, Good. <laughs> I am not. Perhaps I am not the best businessman, but I enjoy making magic things. So maybe that's Where? what matters. Plus one, plus two, plus one. Plus one merciful morning star. Hmm. Interesting for you to find both a merciful and a... Um, 
unholy weapon. Strange. It's uh, not a chaotic night. Mm. <laughs> it certainly has been that. Uh, I'd give you 5,000 for this. That puts us at 20 total, right? 20 total. So far? And plus two heavy wooden shield. Well, this is a nice shield. Nice insignia on the front. Um, let's give you 2,000. Okay, so that's 22,000. The, uh, the, the Masterwork Axe isn't going to go any, go for anything that's like remotely useful here. Also, oh, I had a question about the Masterwork Axe. Hmm. Is that, like, particularly, like, unique in design? Um, Could it be used to, like, identify Grammel, like, to anyone who knew Grammel? Would someone who knew Grammel recognize that as? Mm, make a. Uh... Make a D. Just roll a straight D20. Does it have a maker's mark? Yeah. It wasn't made by Valens. Right. Made by Valens. 14. Okay. It does actually have a maker's mark on it. Um, and the maker's mark are dwarven runes because it is a masterwork dwarven war axe. So it's not probably not something that um, you haven't dealt specifically a whole lot with dwarves. Um, mm -hmm. But there's fairly healthy trade between gnomes and dwarves. Um, both both um, are proud craftspeople. Um and I'd say you would you've seen their handiwork before. Um, while this wouldn't this probably wouldn't be uniquely identifiable to uh Gramil, it is definitely uniquely dwarven in its construction and design. I mean it, it is a very well made um yeah. axe. I am right though that this would not sell for remotely the worth of a potion. Go ahead and make an appraisal check. Oh gosh, this is going to be bad. Ten. Okay. Um, with your knowledge uh, specifically of crafting, um, yeah, this, I mean, it's a, it's a nice axe. Obviously, it's, it's pretty much perfectly balanced and well-made, but it is just a mundane axe no no magical enhancements on it so you would guess it probably fetched somewhere in the range of 250 to 400 gold if you were buying it mm -hmm. um probably around half of that if you were trying to sell it yeah okay so we've got twenty two thousand. um two five potions was here so is it a cure serious wounds on both ends, Zach? Like the ones that he's offering are ones that he's made as cure serious wounds and then someone else has made it cure serious wounds. Is that right? Uh, correct. Okay. One obviously just way more healing than the other one. So to put that. Yeah. So let's see. Where's my. Oh, did we sell the plus two banded mail? We yes. Did. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I here's here's my thoughts on this. Um, my potions are quite a bit. Sh they're well, they're stronger. They're better because I mean, I'm I'm me. Um, but I think probably better if you guys bought the other ones. Mm-hmm. Probably more cost effective. I mostly made the batch of them because I was curious whether or not I could I could do it after only watching him do it once. So, how much then to uh, to round up to fifteen from like how, how much? much wait, how much was it for a potion? Fifteen hundred for the uh, the uh, cheaper potions. 
We'll call it more cost-effective potions. How about that? Sounds nicer. The budget potions. Not budget. Morgan, just they're the um uh economy. They're the economy potions of of healing of making better. Economy. Okay. So, like, so. if I'm doing like the rough calculations in my head correctly, the twenty-two thousand in a store credit would get us like fourteen and two thirds. Sure. I mean, if you want, I can. I could round up to the fifteen. Loyal mean? customer discount. Call it that. <laughs> I think that sounds good. Does that sound good to the rest of us? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Sounds excellent. Alright, well, yeah. 15. Potions of surgery as well. Alright, then. He's gonna um, start pulling. Oh, was Janice trying to say something? Yeah, give me one second. I'm looking up how much something might cost. He's gonna continue to <laughs> rummage through. It's literally like a small wooden crate just just filled with with little <laughs> vials, right? Like the potions potions aren't aren't um they're not this size, realistically. They're more actually like do I have something that's approximate? Here, nine volt battery. They're more like a small vial. They they actually only hold one ounce of liquid. Um, as specifically stated in the rules. Um, how much would you buy this for? And I'm going to uh, give him the gloves of swimming and climbing. Hmm, let me look at these. Ooh, these are cool. I haven't seen these in a long time. Um, I think I actually know the, uh, the probably know the enchanter who made these. Really? Very athletic fellow, which is surprising because most um, enchanters aren't very, you know, adventurous. Well, they're adventurous. They're not very spry most of the time. You know, all that study, staying inside, reading books. Um, I think... Another three thousand. Right. Um. Yeah, wands are gone. I'm just seeing if I have like extraneous stuff. Um. Oh, I have no idea if you have any use for these. Jordan, um. I can hear your chair squeaking. <laughs> if, if I was hoping you could. <laughs> <laughs> if not, it's, it's totally, I totally understand. It's kind of a gamble. I just thought I'd check. She'll pull out six Drake Talons. <laughs> oh. He's going to take one. Hey, look at this. Hmm. Hmm. Out of one of his many pockets, he pulls out uh, like a jeweler's loop. Cool. This is from a Drake, huh? Oh, not the Drake. Uh, <laughs> see Drake, am I right? See Drake. Oh, yes. I still got it. Hmm. These are looking in fairly good condition. I mean, sure. I... I mean, I take them. Probably give you, like... You know, there's six of them. Could give you, like, 60 gold or so. Let's just call it, like, a potion of cure light wounds, if that works. That works. And without looking, he reaches into the pile of vials, grabs one out, and throws it in the in the box that he's filling for you guys. Nice. These are nice. I haven't had um, Drake parts to experiment with for a little while, so this this would be good. Uh, last time it was uh, what was it? Froki, what was it? It it was uh, some kind of some kind of fire Drake. I don't remember exactly. So this will be fun. We used to have the skull, but I think it was too heavy to carry around everywhere. It was cumbersome. And smelled. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about the smell. I don't know how. You know, you'd think that um, the like heads of magical things would be more useful um, 
the most useful, but they, actually they're surprisingly not very useful for the uh, for magic. Actually, they make nice like make trophies or things out of it. Um, maybe a nice like fruit bowl kind of thing. Um, although, then suppose you probably don't want to be eating fruit out of the skull of. Yeah. Anyway. Um. With the money I got from that. There, I'd like to buy some like magic item creation supplies. Oh, certainly. Um, what uh, what are you looking for in particular? Uh, what are you trying to make? Um. So I think something that might be useful, like a mask or a hood of um, ventriloquism. Oh, that is a good one. I have actually. I've ha I have someone. I have one somewhere around here. I like to use it at parties. You know. <laughs> Like, just to mess with people sometimes. Um, be a lot of fun. Hmm, let me see. So, <laughs> oh, uh, he's going to just start talking to himself as he, like, walks mm -hmm. back into his cart, into the recesses. Uh, eventually, he'll come back with the materials that you need. All right, thank you. And um, then that was 2,000 in materials, so 1,000 left. Okay. Um, how much would it cost? We have these bolts from the crossbow. Um, that I want to see if I can transfer the magic or somehow make them into arrows instead. Hmm. Is there a way to transfer the magic to a new similar object? This is something I haven't attempted before, so I'm not sure. Hmm. No... Transferring enchantments is um, pretty, pretty tricky. Um, generally, not worth the effort. Um, what kind of what kind of arrows are or bolts are they? I might actually just have arrows you take. Um, I, probably not exactly the same kind, but. It is. Oh, what an assortment indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Um, axiomatic, five axiomatic, five merciful, and five human vein crossbow bolts. Goodness, you were fighting someone interesting. Which, I mean, if you have arrows, I'd happily sell these to you as well. What kind of arrows do you have? Hmm. I'm going to be real suspicious if he has human vein arrows. Not that we don't it's have human vein boats. It's a really <laughs> useful enchantment. Okay? It is. As much as I hate to admit it, it really is. Yeah. Still doesn't look great. Yeah, especially if you're a Feywild holding onto those. Sus. <laughs> but. Let's see. Oh, man, I wish I had that 100-sided die that I'm supposed to. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I've got some flaming arrows. I've got some frost arrows. And I've got, oh, some thundering arrows. And I've also got ghost touch arrows. Why do I have ghost touch arrows? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Any of those pique your interest? Definitely the, let me see. You said uh, thundering? Uh, yeah. Thundering. Oh, hold on. I think there might be a couple more back here. Just a second. There's, like, clattering of wood. Um, like a, like a bunch of bundle of sticks, like, hitting each other. 
Oh, I've also got... Oh, look at that. I've got some holy arrows. <gasps> you do. I sure do. We should trade. <laughs> All right. Um, Actually, I think flaming arrows would probably be the best. Hey. Um, how many do you have? Oh, let's see. For the five axiomatic, the five um, human bane, and the five... What was the other ones? A merciful. Which really doesn't fit with the other two. No, certainly not. Um, I got to give you, like, 20 flame fire arrows. Can you do 10 flaming and 10 frost? I could do that. Right. I'll take it. All right. No. Here you are. Uh, careful with those. <laughs> um, don't, don't like, poke yourself with those arrowheads. They're enchanted, so whatever... <laughs> Whatever they poke gets, well, it's not good. Just be careful with those. Uh, I know which friend is the uh, pointy and not to touch. That's that's good. That's good. It'd be weird if the pointy end were on the other side. As far as I know, there's only one pointy end. <laughs> Is someone so. cutting paper? Is that is the microphone picking that up? Yep. yep. Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? <laughs> well, is there anything else um I can help you with? As he like pushes you fifteen potions of cure uh serious wounds. Um, how much did you sell the, uh, stuff for, Janus? Um, about, I, I'm not sure exactly price-wise. I know we just traded arrow for arrow, or did arrow for bolt. Think, you, like the gloves, did you get, did you get your oh. worth out of the gloves? 3,000, I have 1,000 left on that. Um. And this kid is good with numbers, I like him. <laughs> it helps. Do you have potions that could make up the difference for that? Unless you wanted to use that for something else, Janus. How much would it cost to make another handy haversack? That's actually a good point. They are quite handy. <laughs> In the name. Uh, let me look up the duration of a spell. Charm person on Bjorn. Get him to give us a million gold. <laughs> you want to try that? Oh, no. <laughs> How many you will not have anybody have? supporting that. <laughs> I'm sure that'll go over real well. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's definitely not immune to charm effects or something like that. <laughs> He also doesn't definitely have a will save of like plus 23 or something like that. <laughs> yep. Or a pet that could eat me in one bite. I think I actually <laughs> do have a character sheet for him. Oh my gosh. I do just have in, a character sheet for him. Just in case we got into it with him. Does someone, I just like to be prepared. Does someone have that charm? Um... Actually, Does anybody I, have a spell that can do that? I don't have a spell slot. Just try it. Tell him. Tell him. Hey, I want to try this. I literally don't have a spell slot. I literally don't have a spell slot. I was asking right. like Jaden's or Elvis one. All right. One last thing. I'm out too. I don't even think I have um, a trump I need more magical supplies. I think it's a little on my price range. So if I use the rest of my money, and I'll give you, I have a plus one kukri from somewhere. Never <laughs> used it. What? I think I started the campaign with it or something like that. I don't know. 
That's um, funny. But I've had I've never used it, so I'm go- I'm gonna see if like I'll sell you this and the golden. I think roughly the cost should cover the supplies I need. Uh, just more stuff for the mask. Uh, I think you. Where did you get that from? Um, let's see. Could give you a thousand for this. It's a, it's a, it's kind of a weird little bent knife, but it's got some magic on it. Bent knife. Sounds good for me. And then I'll give him a list of more supplies I need for the mask. Okay. He will fetch those post haste. Are we able to drink some of these tonight, guys? Like, I... <laughs> we should heal up. I'm imagining we healed to almost maxed. I probably don't need any tonight. Are you going to heal up tomorrow, pretty much? Most of the way. Well, you should use one tonight, then. I would rather save them well the goal is like to go in wherever <laughs> we're going tomorrow at max so that we are don't... we fighting tomorrow we don't know we don't know what the legion's gonna do how about this i'll keep it on hand and if i need to drink it tomorrow i will all right if anything happens tomorrow, I can drink it. But they'll wait until then. Okay. My cookery was not easily accessible. Aww. Aww. Is it like buried in a closet somewhere or something? It's, it's, I think I think I think it's in a box. Ah. Either that, or it's literally at the bottom of a bin full of other knives. <laughs> what was what was your guess on what Bjorn's will save was? Twenty three. Jay said twenty. Or no, said yeah. Actually, yes, it is Whoa. what his will save is wow. right now. Dang, wow! Look at that. Okay, so, yeah, don't go mess for with it. Bjorn. Or at least don't try to charm him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not even my most powerful spell with enchant with all my enchantment buffs. He will RDC. automatically beat that. Yeah. 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 His uh, his DCs for his spells are pretty uh, pretty wild too. I'm sure. All right. You guys now have material components for uh, Janus's project. 15 potions of cure, or excuse me, 15 potions of making feel much better. And <laughs> I believe that was it. Oh, and, and uh, a bundle of a bundle of 10 each of frost arrows and fire. So 15 is yep. enough for all of us to have four except for one person who will just have three. So who wants to be that one person? Of frost arrows? No, 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 the potions. No, the, the oh. Potions. Sorry. I'll be, I'll take just the one because I'm going to be, I don't like going near combat. You're only taking one. Not to mention one of those potions will probably get me back to full in no time. I mean, 
So no, you were, you weren't here, but I asked, like, should we take some of these tonight so that we're healed up for tomorrow? Because we're not going to be healing a bunch, and if there's trouble tomorrow... Uh, Elswin suggested maybe having them on hand in case we need them, but only if we need them, use them. We don't know if we'll be fighting tomorrow, and if we're not fighting... Like, you could use your healing to get us close. Well, I wouldn't want to use my healing unless I knew we were in, like, a fight. Unless it's, like, right before bed. Then I would use it. <laughs> right. But, like, if we go through the day tomorrow without getting into a fight, right? Like, if we know that a fight's going to happen, we can drink the potions and get up. All right. But, yeah. like, if a fight's not going to happen, we might as well just wait and then yeah. have you heal us. That's, yeah, that sounds good. So, you, Janus, do you just want three and then the rest of us take four? Yeah. Sounds good. Zach, what are these exactly? Potions of Cure Series. So they will be 3d8 plus five. Thank you. If you had bought the more expensive ones, they would have been 3d8 plus 15. Oh, jeez. Golly. Because Bjorn's caster level is whack. <laughs> if it's anything like his will save. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Thank you, Bjorn. How was I so spot on with 23, Pat? Yeah, that was surprising. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Yeah. Well, you four, take care of yourselves. Watch out for each other. Don't get in... Well, you're gonna get in trouble. Don't get out of trouble. You can't. Don't get into trouble. You can't get out of. How's that? Um, and we'll see you somewhere. I'm sure. Until next time. Thanks, Bjorn. See you next time. It was good seeing you again before you left. Yes, it's good. It's always good to have uh, goodbyes, just oh. as long as they're not forever. Do you have Find a way somewhere. that we could communicate, like, in sending? Oh, I really shit. miss mm. being able to do that. Do you have, like, oh, a wand sure. of sending that I would be able to use that would not have, like, a failure chance? Let me see. Or a stone I could speak into? Sending stones would be or a something? Does anybody have sending on their spell list? No. No. Okay. Um... Not anymore. Definitely. I mean, I have some sending stones. Well, I call oh, them. It's on the sorcerer wizard spell list, but it's also a fifth level spell. I call them. As long as it's on the list, I think we're fine. Missive stones. You know, like you send a missive, a message to uh, people. Yes. How many? How many name? do you have? Or like, how much would it cost? Well, like, how would? I mean, they're kind. Of, they're pretty tricky to make. They take some pretty. Um, Some pretty uh, potent materials to make them. So, I mean, they're like 10,000 each for a pair, I should say. 10,000 for two? 10,000 for a pair. They always are built in linked pairs. So, whoever's holding one mm. can talk to the other person or whoever's holding the other, no matter where they are. Guys, how much money do we have? Because this is kind of worth it. <laughs> If we're ever no, we have, we coordinating. Have yeah, we don't have that much. Dang. Yeah, those are expensive. Those are very expensive. What about like a a wand of missives? Or a scroll? Uh, oops. The thing about uh Wands and stuff like that. You see. have to make a. Th what's the what's the spell level on sending? Jess? Five. It's five. Well, unfortunately, yeah. um. Oh wait, it depends on the list. It was it depends on the list. It's five for sorcerer or wizard. Oh, uh, it's it's definitely not that for cleric. Three. For five. for cleric. It is four. Well, definitely could make that work then. Let me see. 
I mean, it overall would be more expensive to make a wand or to, to give you a wand, but it, I mean, it's 50 times you could use it and you could send it to anyone, but it'd be like 20,000. That's a not a inconsequential spell to be right. Yeah. putting into a wand. How much for one scroll of sending? Or could you cast sending and I could send it to somebody? I just need to send a sending. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, I could make you, I could give you a scroll for like 700 gold. But what, who? Yeah, I could, I could give you a scroll. Would I have to roll Zach something to make that work? Or would it just work? Yeah, so in order to activate a scroll spell, the scroll user must meet the following requirements. Smell, spell must be of the correct type, arcane or divine. Um, so, yeah, divine spellcasters can only use scrolls containing divine spells, which it does. Uh, user must have the spell on her class list. User must have the requisite ability score. I don't know if Paladin... Does Paladin get access to sending? I don't think they do. Not on the list. Bummer. But if you bought the... Wizard slash Sorcerer... Well, if you bought one that was for a Sorcerer, it would be 1250. Yeah, but Katarina's never... Like, you don't... Or Janus would use it. It doesn't... You don't have to have it in your known spells. It just has to be in your class. Ella's one could use it, potentially, if that's somebody that she Katarina knows. Katarina and Janus could also use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you guys yeah. haven't met my dad. Mm. Um, so... I don't... Uh, I just send a letter. The old-fashioned way. Letters work. Now let me look up sending. Because I think you might be able to cast it on somebody else. Unless it's only self. With, uh, you, you contact a particular creature with which you are familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. It's a self spell. Such an so, inconvenient thing that you think the magical world would figure out. <laughs> Communicating. <yeah. laughs> the, the real issue is you'd have to roll a use magic device check. And the DC is insane. Mm -hmm. It is insane. All right. It's, Never mind. To use a wand is... Oh, yeah. sorry. It couldn't be more help. I know. That's fine. Not your fault. You know, if the magic stuff was easy, then everyone would be doing it. It's true. Could you imagine if everyone could just cast sending? Oh, my goodness. It'd be so annoying. Everyone would just be talking to people like thousands of miles away. Wouldn't be focused on what they're doing here and now. <laughs> It'd be ridiculous. You, you know what I think would be even worse? Is if instead of casting sending, you could write a message to somebody and send it to them. And then they would have to re read it and respond to it in a certain timely manner. And then oh, wow. That's don't a, that, can you imagine how many thousands of those you could get in a day? That sounds so terrible. Like, the people's bad handwriting would be so hard to read. I mean, my handwriting is perfect, of course. I mean,. I think you'd long, have to make long, it magical so that it many years of it. writing, but goodness. <laughs> I think I would create a way to magically sort the the incoming okay. messages into some sort of system of I, I want to read these, these are from That um, sounds like a lot of trying work. To sell me something. That sounds like a lot of work. Anyway, is there anything else I can help you with? No. Thank you, Mjorn. I think that's it. Uh -huh. That was wonderful. Always glad to be of service. And, um, you know, I'm sure we'll bump into each other again. All right. And he's going to step out of his cart. And he, like, hits the the cart and the door, like, the side of the cart flips up and latches closed. Well, yeah, we got the long road ahead. Of us. Best to get going. He's going to hop up onto the uh, driver's bench on the cart. Um, try not to uh, get yourself killed, okay? 
I try. You as well. You do, Bjorn. Back at ya. And then uh, he's gonna give you a smile and a wink, and he snaps the reins, and uh, Froki's gonna start pulling. Froki, in the form of a giant bear-like creature, is gonna start pulling the cart out of the square. I really hope that's not the last time we see him. He's awesome. I'm sure that we'll run into him eventually. I think so. He has a way of turning up. Yeah. To the manor. Let's go see Adari. Sounds good. Okay. You guys uh, make your way up the street. Um, make it to Sylvian Manor, which is, uh, as you actually you walk by Temple of Amriel, which doors are thrown open wide. Um, there's a lot of light coming through, people scurrying all over the place. There are wounded legionaries and wounded citizens all over the place. Um, people hurriedly moving around. Uh, administering help, comfort, medicine, bandages. Um, and uh, as you pass by, you see, um, as you get to Sylvia Manor, you see it likewise lit up. Um, in the the main dining hall um, room is the biggest in the, in the house. So it's, you can see that the uh, floor, the tables have been cleared and there are, Numerous people likewise receiving treatment for injuries. Um, and you see um, Adari's there talking to a group of fairly well armed and well armored um, citizens. Uh, looks like stolen legionary gear or mm. recovered legionary gear. Mm -hmm. um, And then as she uh, as she's talking with them, she kind of sees you, says something to them, and like kind of points somewhere, and they kind of give like a respectful like nod, salute, and then they um, kind of move past you out into the street. And Adara will walk over to you. Oh, she kind of ah. Uh, uh, I heard really good news about the dregs and cloud crests. I knew you could do it. Yeah, we did it. Um, mm -hmm. As of as of now, there uh, the gates have been held. Oh, what? We've been doing that this whole day. What time is it? It's it's late. Dark. It's very dark. Yeah. It's middle of the night. Like. Probably close, yeah, close to midnight. Well, you look like you're all about to drop dead. You have any serious injuries that need tending to? God. I'm sure we could find some space and some bandages. I wouldn't say no. Okay, I think I just sent I'll take some help. I think I just sent uh, Caius out to get some more linen to make enough bandages. Hopefully he's back soon. Oh, good. I can always count on Caius to help us out. Oh, Caius. <laughs> <laughs> that, guy, that guy must hate us so much. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Probably. Um, okay, so you guys will... Um, you can find a seat. It's pretty crowded. Uh, you can find a seat. You'll see numerous people injured. Um, you see the servants, a couple of servants of the Sylvian Manor that you recognize, um, although you don't know their names, moving around, helping people. Um, eventually, someone comes by and just like pushes some bowls of um, soup, really more just broth, into your hands. Um eventually you get some some bandages uh they kind of just hand them to you you guys are still pretty mobile so you kind of can bandage yourselves um you see decimus moving around helping people um 
distributing bandages, trying to do what he can, and his son, uh, Canis. Um, so you're able to uh, get some rest, get some food, bandage the more serious injuries. Um, and I think with that, we will end here. We'll pick up in the morning after you guys have gotten some well-earned and much-needed rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any well-earned and much-needed XP to get us to level 12? <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> <laughs> You know, actually, yeah, you can have level 12. Aww. Okay. Sweet. Thank All you. right. Let's oh, roll. Yeah. <laughs> it never we hurts to ask. Stuff. <laughs> hey, that means we get an extra hit point back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How many hit points do we get? Uh, For like, old... the bandages and stuff, does that help? Um, I'll say it the. Medical aid will give you, you'll heal twice as fast, so you'll gain 24 hit points back instead of 12 from the healing, Ooh, nice. natural healing. Hell yeah. Okay, so plus 24. C. Okay. Plus the extra hit points that we're gaining by leveling up? Or not? C. Okay. Keep your damage, not your hit point total. So like okay. however far you are from your your max, that's the that's what you keep. Okay. Well, uh, that got me up to full. Let's see. Yes, Should yeah. I take a level in paladin or? <laughs> Go monk. Rogue. Go, Definitely rogue. Go monk. <laughs> I think you should do. I think you should do bard. Actually. Take a, take a level of the the chronicler prestige class. Yeah. Jeez. There you go. Yeah, there you go. It's only the worst prestige class in the book. It's literally the worst prestige class. Oh, oh, prove oh. a stat! Oh, that's right! Oh, yeah. Oh. My constitution goes up to 20 from 17! Nice. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. intelligence is going up. I'm oh. a smart girl. Getting smarter. Yeah. I rolled a one. I could have re-roll that, yeah? Yes. The first one. That's I did it too. Here's to hoping. Oh, thank goodness. I'm bumping my decks up to eighteen. Alright, time to oh gosh, time to see the hit die. Yep. Yes! Oh, nice. Oh, Nicely oh, done. Boy. Well rolled. Oh, boy. So, hold on. What is this? Okay. Oh, no. Um, Skill points. So, this means... Oh, I get 12 extra skill points because my head... Hey, Katarina, you get a skill point. <laughs> <laughs> Bend it wisely. <laughs> Don't put it all in one place. <laughs> oh, no. I I get an extra twelve skill ranks to spend because my intelligence went up by one. <laughs> yeah, thirty-seven. Uh -huh. I get thirty-seven uh -huh. additional hit points this level. Good Dang. lord, guys! You got all. You We're got just... slightly more hit points than Elizwin got skill rank. <laughs> Jake, what? What's up, um, Jake? I rolled a two on my hit die. Oh. Three hit points. Oh no! <laughs> I'm up to sixty-four. Did I pass you? Unbelievable. Yes, I think so. Oh my gosh, I passed you. I'm at 69. Oh. Nice. P.S. Just yeah, so you guys know, <laughs> the the notes that I have written down for this for this stage are titled "The End Game." So sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. All right. Oh boy, I have a high enough BAB, I can do two attacks. Hey. <laughs> You're never going to see this out of Janus. Never. <laughs> now he can slap you twice. <laughs> oh, man. 
But the question is, did your running speed go up at all? No, it did not. Ah, darn. Gosh, looking at the history of the hit point totals that I've rolled for Katarina is <laughs> the most insane thing in the world. <laughs> You've done so well on those rolls. Like, okay, so obviously, like, level 1, start with max, which was 6, because Sorcerer. Level 2, roll to 4. Level 3, roll to 6. Level 4, roll to 5. Level 5, roll to 4. Level 6, roll to 5. Level 7 into Dragon Disciple, roll to 12. Then rolled a 5, a 5, a 10, a 9, and now a 10. That's pretty rough. How? Oh my gosh. I will never play a character with higher hit points than this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't think I'm ever going to have a good enough... Like, I don't... I could probably play a 15th level character without as good of a reflex save as all of them has. I could probably play a 20th level character easily that doesn't have as good of a reflex save as well as it has. I'm at 17 right now. <laughs> so. You got a reflex save of 17, huh? Yes. What is Bjorn's? Hey, you have the same reflex save as Bjorn. <laughs> That's, That's funny. At least currently, I need, to, I need to stat him out more. I mean, you figure he's a undisclosed level of wizard and potentially other things and he has obviously a lot of resources and no small amount of time he can just also has access to the permanency spell so he can he could just do whatever the heck he wants really You're right mm -hmm. i forgot i get tricky spells this level i know three times a day i no longer have to worry about somatic or verbal components of spells Ooh, right Awesome. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight's session. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. Full on, yes, yes, full yes. on warfare. For um, real. I was—I don't know about you guys, but in my mind, as you guys were describing what you're doing, I was like, "Man, the mental images of you guys fighting and having this like sequence was just painted oh, yeah. in my mind." I'm like, "Man, this is so cool." Well, it's like you don't get to see this level of play very often, so it's kind of neat to like, you know, like we are the people who could turn the tide of a battle, yeah, quite mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. Kind of get to kind of get to flex those uh, flex those muscles. It was funny because uh, Jess asked me earlier today if she said she asked me, "Do you think we're ever gonna go back to like?" gladiator fights she meant more like in real life i thought she meant in breaker of chains and i'm like you guys want to go back there like i don't know that I, what are they going to capture that you guys <laughs> that you guys are even going to put up a challenge right now and be like this would get kind of ridiculous but that's oh you know that actually makes me think for you know we've done um battle royales and stuff potential like one shots when we don't have a full group of people it could be a let's fight some random CR whatever from the bestiary and see what you guys do. Oh yeah. Guys, I get one one six level spell. Choose wisely. Choose very wisely. What are you gonna choose? Hold on, let me look at your There's what's a... let me look at your spell list. Oh I'm I want I'm just Sixth level. Here we go. Planar binding would be nice. Ooh. Wait. Oh, no. Dang, there's some scary six level spells in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could do form of the dragon one. Hey, we could have two dragons. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would that be? Katarina's like, 
ah, blows out Cone of Cold and is like, ah. And then Janus is like, oh, you think that's cool? Turns into a dragon. <laughs> Although it's not super impressive because it only turns you into a medium-sized dragon. So It's big for Katarina, okay? <laughs> <laughs> So Janus turns into a dragon. Katarina rides Janus into battle as a dragon rider. Hey, that's a fun class. <laughs> Honestly, I oh almost wouldn't feel I almost wouldn't feel bad about bringing dragon rider into a normal campaign. I that was a really cool class. It's cool. Did. It's also not super overpowered. The thing that made it overpowered was that you could do things like take levels in druid and keep the animal companion. <laughs> but it levels up. It's like you level the dragon up at the dragon, like your dragon rider level. It's like minus two. Or you can be like a wizard and just take the dragon and it levels up at your dragon rider level minus two, which is insane. Otherwise, it was actually pretty balanced. Hawks is so soul. <laughs> What's your strength? With, uh, well, I'm currently still healing from that, but with my belt, it gives me giant strength plus two. When I'm at full, I have my, it's a 21 is my strength, which makes you're me funny. very happy. Yeah, you're, you're a beast. Rawr. I mean, it's not 22. Like, you guys have, I think, 22s in some of yours. Yeah. Janus, you should definitely do Contingency. <laughs> or or Forceful Hand. Repulsion looks nice. <laughs> Actually, you know, that's perfect for you. <laughs> that is perfect for you. Could you imagine I'm, I have Repulsion up while invisible? So it just looks like there's an area where people can't go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this this area is out of bounds and off limits. Shadow Walk is... They call that a portable hole. <laughs> Shadow Walk is pretty cool, It's actually. the portal to the Feywild. It is. Could always do oh. Circle of Death. I was looking at Disintegration. Oh. Or Disintegrate. Dang. Yeah. 